major problem on I-95 north of New York City. A massive tanker fire damaged a bridge right over the highway. Yeah, it burst into flames after a three vehicle crash in Norwalk, Connecticut, and now the road is expected to remain closed for days. Now this may bring back deja vu for drivers in Philadelphia. Of course, you'll remember that deadly tanker truck crash and fire causing part of I-95 to collapse last June in the city's Tacony section. Here's ABC's Rhiannon Alley with more on this latest incident. This morning, demolition getting underway on this bridge over busy Interstate 95 north of New York City, where a fuel truck sparked a massive fire, badly damaging the overpass. It's going to disrupt this whole coast. The tanker truck was carrying 8,500 gallons of gas through Norwalk, Connecticut, when it was involved in a crash with a tractor trailer and a car. This bridge is uh, less than 10 years old. Uh, and, uh, you know, but the damage was pretty severe due to the amount of gasoline that was in the tanker. It took firefighters three hours to put out the flames, and now the highway is expected to remain closed on both sides until Monday. I'm coming from New Haven, and we got stuck out here for six hours so far. I-95 is a critical artery connecting New York to New England. More than 160,000 cars and trucks travel this stretch every day. A similar crash in Connecticut last year shut down a different part of the highway after a fuel truck collided with a stopped car in New London, killing the truck driver. Yesterday's crash also reminiscent of an accident in Philadelphia last year when a part of I-95 crumbled after a tanker truck caught fire beneath an overpass. But temporary lanes were opened within days after crews used tons of recycled glass nuggets to fill in the area. Glass aggregate is not new. It's been used in Pennsylvania for seven or eight years. It's safe. It's sound. It's ready to go to work. As for the crash in Connecticut, still no word on who might be held responsible. Local schools are closed today, and commuters are being urged to stay home if possible or to take the train. Officials say it could take up to a year just to replace that overpass. Rhiannon Alley, ABC News, New York.